Good day, everyone. For this video, I'll be sharing with you an assessment tool to measure or to assess the numeracy level of your learners or of your kid. So this tool can be used to determine and identify the numeracy level of your learners, specifically on the four fundamental operations in mathematics which are the multiplication, the division, addition, and subtraction. I'll be sharing now the tool for learners. So this is the tool for the learners. Here you have their, I put the headings and then the title. So numeracy, as you can read, numeracy assessment tool for fundamental operations in mathematics. I also, Put the directions here. Okay, so there. As you can see, this assessment tool, this will measure only the four fundamental operations in mathematics. And then I first include or I first write here the addition because it's easy. And this is the first skills that is being developed by the teacher are being taught by the teacher to the learners specifically for for grade one so here but you can assess this one whether the learners have the knowledge or the concept they know the concept about addition with groupings without groupings at the same time if they know how to to add two digits or with carry so here the first given five plus two, and then this is a single digit in addition. And then the second given is 21 plus 35. This is um, two digits given, but without groupings. Then the third one, two digits, but with groupings. So from here, you can assess whether they know how to carry for those numbers with groupings. So for example, here 8 plus 5. So some of the learners would definitely write here the 13. They don't know the concept on the carry carry thing. So that's why um, you can assess it using this tool. The second operation is subtraction. So here, same thing, this could assess the learner's knowledge regarding the concept in subtraction. So for example, here the first digit, seven minus three, and then the second given, it's already with two digits, but without any borrowing concept. So 74 minus 13, four minus three, seven minus one. So they don't need to to borrow from, from the other number. So in these two givens, you can assess the learners whether they know the concept of, of subtraction, first digit or the second digit, or with two digits rather. Then the thir third one, um, it's, it already have the, the concept of borrowing. So as you can see, the given is 85 minus 67, 5 minus 7. So let's see whether the learners have the concept about on how to borrow a how to borrow from, from the other number in order to solve the given or the given problem. You can really see whether the learners know how to subtract with the borrowing concept or not, or with the with one digit or two digits or not. And then here for mul multiplication, so same thing. Um, whether they know how to how to multiply one digit, two digit, with one digit or with two digits. So first given, definitely they don't need to to put the number because it's only it's only one given digits. So on the second, it's yeah, it's two digit multiplying to one digit, but without any concept of the answers having of having the answers to 
um, two numbers, 14 times two. So the, the learners would not have um, to place the one digits on the top of, of certain number. Then on the third given problem, it's about multiplying two digits. So here, we could determine the two things of the numeracy le uh, level of our learners. First, we could determine whether the learner knows how to multiply two digits. And then second, we could determine whether the learners know how to multiply um, two digits with the concept on how to write numbers or how to write answers with two numbers. For example, five times five, the answer would be 25. So how would they write that answers on this given problem? So we could really see whether they, they know how to do that or whether they know that concept or not. So from there, we are already aware what intervention or enhancement activity should we give to our learners. Then the last operation is division. So this one, this is really one of the problems of our learners because most of our learners don't really know how to divide. So, but same thing, I did same thing. The first one, one digit, the second one with two and dividing it to one digit and the third one with two digits. So from here, we could determine whether they know how to divide using one digit and two digits and whether they know how to divide more than one digits. So we could really see what intervention activities or activities should we provide to our learners. So this is for assessing the numeracy level of our learners. Now, you might ask, how about for the teachers tool? So I also made a tool for us, for teachers, this one. So here, I just made it easy for us so that it will be easier for us to identify and, of course, really to group our learners on the needs that they need for the four fundamental operations. So here you, you can write the name of your learner and then upon checking, you can check here whether they know the concept of with grouping or without grouping for addition, for subtraction, multiplication, and division. Then for remarks, you can write there whether they, they know how to add, but not with two digits like that. Or you can write there, um, they know how to multiply two digits, by, but they don't know the concept of how to write the answers having or the answers of two numbers. If the answer is equivalent to two numbers, for example, 25, so they don't know how to, to put or to arrange the answer. That's why you can put it here on the remarks. Okay, so this is for, for us, teachers, for our reference in conducting the assessment tool. By the way, this is applicable for grade grades 2 and 6. For grade 1, they don't know yet definitely the concept of multiplication and division because they, it is not being taught to them. That's why this, this tool cannot be used by the grade 1. But anyhow, in the next video, hopefully I could share also for the grade one assessment tool. I, we already have that one for the numeracy. So that's it. Um, I'll be sharing the template of the numeracy assessment tool for, for learners as well as, as for teachers in the description box. So you can download that template and you can modify it as well if you want. So there, thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you and have a great day. Bye!